Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new Game Maker tutorial. Today we are working on our tower defense once again. Today we're going to be doing a basic tower, as you can probably tell from the title, and it's going to be a blast. So let's jump right in here. And let's create a brand new sprite. This is our, going to be our tower sprite, because of course we want our tower to have a graphic. I'm going to hit edit sprite, and I'm going to create a new one, and I'm going to keep it 32 by 32. And I think today I'm going to do a blue color for my tower. I'm going to pick a custom blue color, something like that. Perfect. And that is our tower right there looking good, looking just fine. Make yours however you want it to look like. And let's turn this tower into an object. I'm going to say obj underscore tower. And I'm going to set the sprite to the tower. And I'm going to add an event, add a create event, because we need to define some variables here. We're going to define two of them. I'm going to go to control, drag in some code. And what we're going to say is, first one is the radius. I'm going to set the radius to 100. And the radius is basically, we're going to use it to check to see if an enemy is close enough to us that we can shoot at it. So radius is to 100. Set it to whatever you like. Um, of course, the higher the number, the further it's going to check. Uh, so that's perfect. And then right below, we're going to say cooldown is equal to 25. So we're going to use that for a cooldown system so that our tower kind of shoots in intervals, isn't constantly shooting, it shoots every once in a while, which is perfect, exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to hit check and I'm going to hit check. And what we need to do, I'm not going to hit check on there yet, I'm going to add a step event. If you don't know, a step event is run every step of the game or every frame of the game. So if your game is running 24 frames per second, it's going to be run 24 times. So Let's start off here. First things first, I'm going to say cooldown minus equals one. And that's going to subtract from cooldown. Um, you're going to see why in a second. And next, we're going to say target is equal to instance underscore nearest x, y, obj enemy. And what this is going to do is this is going to set uh, the variable target to the nearest enemy. So we're going to shoot towards whatever our target is at the moment. And then below it, we're going to have an if statement, and we're going to say if distance, whoops, distance to object obj enemy is less than radius. So if it's within our radius, then what do we want to do? Then, give me a sec here, there we go. Let me make this bigger for you guys. Then we want to shoot, of course. But before we shoot, we have to make sure we can shoot. We got to do the cooldown check. So we're going to say if cooldown is less than or equal to zero, then instance underscore create x, y, obj, or, or bullet, or whatever it is. So what we're doing here is we cooldown is 25, and we're subtracting one from cooldown. Boom, 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 subtract, 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 subtract. And then right here, we're saying, okay, well, if we're less than zero, that means we're good to shoot. So let's shoot. And then we're going to do cooldown is equal to 25. So we're going to reset cooldown. So it's going boom, 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 shoot. Boom, 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 shoot. Boom, 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 shoot. So if you want your tower to shoot more often, you can change this 25 to a lower number. And if you want to shoot less, you can make it higher. But I find 25 just works. So if our enemy is close enough to us, and if we're allowed to shoot, let's shoot. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to hit check, and I'm going to hit check. Now, of course, we have to create the orb or the bullet. So let's create a new sprite, and let's call this SBR underscore orb, of course. I'm going to hit edit sprite, and I'm going to hit new, and I'm going to make mine 20 by 20 because I'm a rebel, and I'm going to mix things up today. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to open this up. And what, what color do I want? Hmm. I don't know. Something like that. And I'm going to select my circle tool here. And I'm just going to go like that. Nice and simple. Perfect. So I'm going to hit check. I'm going to hit check. I'm going to hit check. And I'm going to turn it into an object. And I'm going to say obj underscore orb. Set the sprite to orb, of course. 
and I'm gonna add a crate event. So I'm gonna go to control, drag in some code. And I would say this code might be more complicated than the last code. Depends on your opinion though. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say spawn tower is equal to instance underscore nearest x y obj tower. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna take the tower that we just spawned from. It's gonna say, okay, which tower did we come from? Let's store that in a variable. And you're gonna see why in a second. And then we're gonna say uh, move underscore towards point spawn tower dot or not closest enemy dot target dot x spawn tower dot target dot y and then a speed I'm gonna put 15 so let's talk about this so we're gonna move towards the point of the target of our spawn tower and then at a speed of 15 so of course spawn or, um, target is the closest enemy and what we're, we're, what we're saying is we came from that tower okay well let's what target like which enemy was he targeting oh that one okay we're gonna go for that one and then gonna go for it for a speed of 15 um, you can make that higher you can make it lower it really depends on you know how fast you want it to move and all that good stuff uh, but I think that's gonna work perfect for right now so I'm gonna hit check and I'm gonna hit check because I think we're done with that and actually no we have one more thing add an event add a collision with the enemy event and if you go to main one here and you drag in this recycling bin, all we're saying is when we collide with the enemy, destroy the instance, which is exactly what we're looking for. So I'm gonna hit check. Let's go to our room here. And what we're gonna do is let's add our tower into the game. I'm gonna place him right there. So I think that's a good place for him to be. And I'm gonna hit check and let's run the game here. And hopefully everything works smoothly. Any second now, here we go. We here we go, here we go. And up. Oh. So the towers, the enemies can come within our radius and we're gonna start shooting at it. So what we can do is we're going to center the orb so that it has a center origin point. And we're actually gonna go back into the orb, go into the crate event, and it looked like it was shooting a little bit behind the enemy. So on the X here, I'm gonna put minus 15. Now that way it, it shoots a little further ahead. I just want to see if that makes it look a bit nicer. Um, it's still colliding and it's still going to do damage, but you know you still want it to aesthetically look look pretty nice. So enemy is going to come to a radius about here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. So as you can see, we haven't set the enemy up yet to die, and we have not set ourselves up to die yet. But we're going to do that. I think in part four because I'm gonna do the wave system in the next part I'm thinking and then the one after that we're gonna get into money and then we'll get other stuff like making making this tower rotate and all that but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this kind of introduction to making towers we're gonna to go into a lot more depth with this in the future as we add lightning towers and poison towers and towers that slow enemies down and all that good stuff uh, but yeah so if you enjoyed this video, let me know. If your code doesn't work and you need help, let me know. Uh, if you hated this video, don't let me know. I really don't care. Um, and yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a pleasure getting to talk to you guys. Happy devving.